welcome to subramani i'm going to talk to you today about uh, how easy or simple or difficult it is to uh, invest uh, what has happened is we have taken all the great investment theories and broken them down and made it into very simple postulates uh, which are uh, e easy to think so buy something worth 1000 rupees for 500 uh, cigarette butts if you see a lot of cigarette butts down there go uh, pick it up uh, all of them will have one or two puffs left so right so these are all these are all theory be fearful when uh, others are uh, when others are optimistic be optimistic when others are fearful right uh, or be fearful when others are greedy be greedy when others are fearful these are all fantastic things and uh, because we learn these things or we read these things or we watch some YouTube uh, champions who say I have got 8 years experience or I have got 14 years experience or something like that. We believe that um, all that can translate and therefore I can create a video saying that therefore you should buy Asian Paints and Pedialyte and uh, HGFC Bank and uh, Larson and Tubro and SBI and uh, lo and behold you will be rich right. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I mean all of us have gone through education, right? So when you are getting educated, you have been through class 10, class 12, everything. So you sit for class 10 and uh, you start planning for the year. You make a nice timetable saying morning 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock I will do physics, 7 to 8 I will do maths and tuck, 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 you, uh, 15 minutes for breakfast, 1 hour for lunch and so you find oh my god I got 14 hours of uh, studying possible, 15 hours of studying possible, whatever. The day you make the timetable, you are very exhausted saying, wow, this is so fantastic and if I, all I have to do is uh, adhere to it and uh, I will be a state ranker. Uh, well, uh, making the plan is one thing, actually implementing it is the problem. The problem is not in making the plan, everybody makes a great plan, right, but implementing. For example, if I tell you, if you start an SIP of 500 rupees with your age of 22 and you keep increasing it by 10% every year or say 1500 rupees per month and increasing it by 10% every year, uh, you will have 13 crores when you retire or 12 crores when you retire, some number, don't put this to maths and uh, check it out but uh, something like this, it looks very easy right, so are it is very simple, all I have to do is implement it right the problem is in the implementation the problem is not in the knowing for example people will know that uh, if the if the market p is below 20 you should be buying fantastic but by what none of us are buying the index right you're not buying the index you're going there and buying some share you're going and buying a pedialyte you're going and buying an asian paint you're going and buying an hgfc bank is that the time to be buying, is the time to be selling or even the market is up, what should you be buying, what should you be selling, this is not easy. So, it's a, so you go to YouTube and see what are the experts saying and some expert tells you you can never go wrong if you keep buying Colgate, fantastic. So, you keep buying Colgate and you find uh, you bought Nestle and you got 3% uh, return, you bought something else and you got minus 24% return, you bought Lupin and you got minus 18% return and then you are saying wow I bought the right company, I bought it for a long time, 3 years I have been doing an SIP in Lupin, why am I getting a negative return, right. So, the question is being able to calculate PE does not mean you understand how to use it. Right? It is like uh, saying my father worked for 22 years or say 33 years whatever in uh, Mahindra and Mahindra accounts department and last 15 years he was handling fixed deposits, fantastic. He was head of that fixed deposits, fantastic. Which means he knows how the form should be filled, how should the, how a claim will be made by somebody in case of death, he knows where the revenue stamp should be stuck, signature should be across the revenue stamp does not mean he knows whether to invest in DFHL or not uh, invest, right? Those are two completely different things, you know the process, you know the process of how to invest in a mutual fund does not mean you know how to pick which mutual fund, right? So, we get confused between what we know and what we implement and we are looking for simple straightforward answers which are not there. So, everybody would love that I run a channel and say okay you should put into this fund, you should not put into this fund, you should remove from this fund and I cannot do that simply because to be able to give good quality advice, the advisor has to know you the investor, 
right and in the market there is vagueness and there will be uncertainty you will have to adapt to it you will have to dance it's not a question of a straight walk right uh, a random walk theory right there's a whole book on the random walk it's it is about being able to adapt to the market how is the market going to react to the uh, to San, mr sandeep bakshi uh, pulling back icici and saying let's first do the banking and then we can do the distribution or how uh, what is going to be the difference between uh, sashidhar jagdishan sashidhar jagdishan and uh, aditya puri's childs will mr jagdishan command the same respect which mr puri com- uh, commanded and remember mr puri is the founding managing director he put together the team so will people give sashi jagdishan uh, credit for what is happening will he get the same power that uh, mr uh, aditya puri had how will the pe of hgfc bank change how will they miss the uh, the experience of the mr deepak parekh and uh, the mr uh, aditya puri losing both of them at more or less the same time right and culturally will these organizations fit in will the pe change will the pe not change right how much will the pe change how much will the pe change for a colgate or a png and will the pe of the big uh, branded companies will it shift to the big distributors or will the small distributors suddenly be able to use the distribution strength of an amazon or a equivalent uh, uh, flipkart or somebody else and therefore be able to spread his own goods without their help because the same systems exist for others right can they just uh, cut copy paste the cha- the uh, the uh, systems with these big companies have and start implementing it will they be will a small company manufacturing paints in coimbatore be able to sell it in delhi right so these are all questions which we don't know and if those things start happening how will it change the uh, pe of the existing players and how will the pe of the new distributors change right so uh, working uh, making a plan is easy implementing it is difficult making it on spreadsheet and saying this is what should happen is easy actually going sitting there doing it and implementing is difficult we don't understand that we don't realize that we think ah this is so simple all you have to do is sit tight for a long period of time yes it is so and so simple but you have to sit tight during turbulent times and you are unfortunately not in the index right so when the market falls uh let's say march 2020 some companies fell and did not come up some companies fell and came back 3x some came back 5x so it's very easy and naive to say oh in march 2020 if you had bought this this is what would have happened yes the whole process i know i know if you had bought uh, eid parry at 110 today it is 550 or maybe it has dropped to 480 i don't know yes but would you have stayed through the whole journey would you have bought it at 110 and would you have waited till 550 because the market fell did you know that this is the share which would have gone up five times or is are uh, are there shares which went up seven times are there shares which went up three times or were you dub- happy doubling your money you bought it in march 2020 for 110 in maybe august september it went to 220 and you exited you still made money but the question is uh, did you get the timing right did you get the timing wrong if you had waited would you have done better or was it a company which went from 100 to 550 and then came back to 330 then you would have said oh i wish i had sold at 550 right so calculating the past uh, you know wh- how did it grow what happened and taking that and extrapolating it to the future to see the margins to see and uh, there is another problem once a company is successful you say oh the company succeeded because of the moat but today if you see the moat are you able to say oh this is the moat this moat will stay for another 5 10 years in that time the company will establish itself well and therefore this moat will mean the pe will improve are you able to see all that for example colgate let me warn you colgate i have colgate in my portfolio at some ridiculously low single digit cost Uh, maybe less than a rupee so that is there in my portfolio so i'm i'm telling you this now a company like colgate or even a png they penetrate the system so thoroughly for example colgate i think designs uh, right up to designing the uh, dental uh, syllabus so every dentist who comes out thinks that you have to use colgate only right uh, can you get them to endorse some of the older products some ayurvedic products very difficult 
right so uh, they have penetrated procter and gamble goes to class 7 class 8 in every school in every place and talks about female hygiene so the examples that the kids know uh, the samples that they get are all from procter and gamble so procter and gamble has uh, established that market very well now a newcomer has to do that whole exercise it's not going to be very simple even if you do all that people have will a person listen to a youtuber and change his toothpaste or will he listen to his dentist right so therefore the pe uh, ridiculously high pe of a colgate or a png will be there but what happens if there is change what happens if new people come in right will they be able to break it uh, for example uh, uh, when so many people are buying uh, so many things in the mall you realize that some of the money has come from the cigarettes that they are not smoking right so uh, when I was younger, I know how what used to be the cost of a cigarette, but I'm assuming today uh, uh, it will cost a smoker approximately 3,500 to 4,000 rupees per month uh, in terms of cigarettes, right? So along with cigarette, maybe there'll be some chai, so there'll be other uh, related expenses. That money is going to uh, fund some lifestyle expense, either it's an eating out or it's a, a new shoe or it's a new shirt or something like because 4,000 rupees a month or 3,500 rupees a per, per month is what that person is saving. How do you translate all that? Will the PE of ITC drop? Will the PE of Nike go up? And if the price of Nike goes up, it's going up in US, it's not going up in India. Maybe you're investing in Nike through a US fund. So with all these complications, you think that you can understand uh, you you can understand what how PE is calculated does not mean you understand how PE has to be used, right? So looking at uh, looking at a successful company and saying therefore they had a moat uh, that's easy but to say this is the moat so therefore this will be the growth and this will be the PE is very difficult right uh, any any of those concept uh, discounted cash flow or to say oh this is what you should be doing uh, you should be fearful when others are greedy but do you know is this a time when people are fearful or is this a time when people are greedy are people saying oh the market has fallen so this is the time to be buying is that greed or is it fear that oh fear of missing out right we don't know so putting all this together and implementing is not as simple as uh, uh, buying a selfie stick and buying a camera or uh, buying a, using a phone to create a video and say therefore i think you should do this in access mutual fund i don't know what you should be doing in access mutual fund that is the truth nobody knows no youtuber knows what has happened you have to wait for the final report from sebi and from access uh, mutual fund to say this is what happened this is the impact this is the amount of money that has uh, gone out this will be retrieved from them this is the fine that the uh, fund house will pay this is the fine that some of the people who are in charge of the organization will pay right all these things have to come then you'll get the full picture right now we are all talking very vague right so implementing is far more difficult than knowing all of us know how many of us implement that's the, that is what will make you money thank you